if I need gold? No. Nope. Silver? No. Nope. <laughs> I uh, guarantee you these people. Zinc? <laughs> yeah, we find some zinc. Well, that's all that matters. We probably won't find no zinc pennies. Uh, Indian heads, maybe? Possible. They just didn't have a lot of money now. Well, hey, I, I can relate to that. I mm. can too. Here we are out in the middle of nowhere again. Looks like I'm back in North Carolina. Uh, I bet there's I bet there's gold off there, off of there somewhere, down the bottom of that ravine or whatever. It's deep. It's a deep no. All right, I'll get off here and hopefully we'll be back with uh, something good. All right, there goes seven down the hill. Uh, man, this looks like a great spot. You see the daffodils in the background, right there in the center of the screen, right there. Some look like some uh, cut rock, and then of course you got the daffodils over there in the center of the screen. I hope he don't plan on bringing me down here and murdering me. I know we're a long ways down here. Well, I better get down there before he finds something before I do. Alright, I made it down the hill. There's all the daffodils. Right there's the seven. Of course, right here, we're trying to figure out. You see a spot right here, and it goes up a little bit higher, and then it makes like an L shape, so we don't know if that was the shape of the house or what. And then, uh. Probably that was a brick chimney. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, and this would have. It would have just fell over. So. And leave the old brick, I mean, you can tell. Yeah. How they were poor. I wish all that wasn't grown up right in there. Well, that's never stopped us before. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you ever hit down here any? You, uh, where was the old road? Right there, best I can tell. Okay. Now. I don't think there was a road that crossed out from here. Because if you walk around and look, yeah, it's just, it just goes down. It's just, yeah, it's, this is just a pedestal, really. You know, all we're missing is Mark Hoover. He's down there in 80 degree weather, bless his heart. Yeah, see, this just, this just falls off. There's no, there wouldn't be any road that ran down in through there. Yeah, unless that road we parked on was the... <laughs> that road wasn't there. It wasn't. It shows a road coming in. Off of that road up there, off mm -hmm. the main road. Somewhere. Found any this place? This place is absolutely full of rattlesnakes, and it's got its share of copperheads, but it's full of rattlesnakes in here. Well, luckily, so much so that the landowner told me, he said, "You can hunt it all you want to, but I don't want you down there in the summer." <laughs> well, did you say you didn't want to be down here during the summer? Alrighty, we're gonna see what we can find. See who can find the first uh, coin. All right, seven. He's on that side of the house, and uh, you can hear him squeaking over there. He's got the uh, AT Pro today. He's using it, but uh, I mean, I started out with the T2, and now this hole right here, I got a harmonica reed plate. Uh, of course, it was a. Uh, guy on he made a comment on one of my last videos and uh can't remember his youtube channel but i'll put it up in the uh on the screen but he was talking about a this is the reed plate and then of course the little bitty reeds is what covered the little slots in this reed plate and uh, of course uh, he was talking about some of you could replace them all 
and it didn't matter what harmonica, but some of them was a lot easier than the others. So I guess that's why we find so many harmonica reeds. Uh, they have a reed to go bad in the plate, and then they just change them out. So. All right, I got a signal right here, and it turned out to be a uh, part to a horseshoe, and then or a pony shoe. It was awful small, maybe mule shoe or something. Not a, uh, but anyway, some kind of uh, shoe for a uh, four-legged animal. Yeah. Anyway, uh, got it and got another piece of iron, and I kept on getting a squeaker. And it was just kind of squeak, squeak, squeak every now and then, and right beside the hole. Right on top of the ground, right there's another reed plate. You can tell that had been right on top of the ground for a long time. So, find them about everywhere. All right, here's a neat little piece. It's a, a little gear to either a clock or a watch. You can see it's pretty real thin so I'll put it in the uh, display case with the uh, clock and watch parts all right right here's my first button uh, old trusty ridge it's got something else on the front of it some kind of design I can't make it out you can see the rust is trying to bust through and it is an old uh, overall button it's not that special but it's still history C7 right over there I'm over here don't tell grandma I was digging in the flowers but I got my first coin he, he just said he didn't have a coin yet but I'm on the board with a coin it's a uh, nickel been shot with a 22 Not a great find, but uh, I'll take it. All right, I was walking around, checking out this uh, hill right before it drops off, and I've got a decent, uh, it was ringing up 70, 75, pretty solid, but I don't know if you can see it right there in the center of the hole. What is it going to be? An old rivet. I don't know what year it would be, but hey, I found it. It's mine. All right, I got a neat little find here. It's a little bit of token. Of course, I got it out. I just thought it was a, like an aluminum cap, and I was going to put it in my trash pouch, and then I thought, well, I better clean it just in case. So sales tax token. Now I think it's one dollar. So the reverse, it doesn't have anything on it, it's just the front side. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I don't find many of those down middle Tennessee. I think I've maybe this is the only second one I've ever found. There are seven down there digging a good target. It was ringing up good anyway. I've got a, a little buckle right here. I don't know quite the age on it, but <clears throat> seven may know. But yeah, he uh, heard something earlier. Thought he sounded like a bear growl. Of course, he's got me looking behind my back now. Might be a mountain lion. No, it didn't sound like it. Yeah, I was just out doing a little scouting around this little area. And you can see how the dirt's pushed up right there. And there's more daffodils down in this way. Uh, you got some right down there. And it looks like an old road cutting right through there. 
I don't know if you can make it out on the video or not, but that log right there is going right across it. And they may have a spring down there. Of course, I'm sure there's one down there anyway, but I'm sure they may have used it pretty regular. But I come across this log right here. I've got a good iron relic. Of course, this one's not in very good shape. I mean, it's all there, but you can tell where it's folded or somebody was using it for a uh, wedge or something. So, still got an old nail sticking out of it. I'm going to lay that right there on that log and I'll get that on the way back out. I swapped to the Equinox and it's doing pretty good. I mean, um, found uh, several little brass pieces and uh, lots of uh, 22 cartridges. But I'm gonna head off this hill a little bit and see what I can find. There he is digging a hole. I wish I had a uh, dollar for every hole he's dug in his lifetime. But, uh, I was walking around, of course, <coughs> excuse me, the house was right there and come walking around through here and got this piece. Not for sure what it is. It's uh, brass. It's been hammered on the end. I don't know if that's what's left of a uh, handmade broadhead or not. So I don't know if the shaft of the air come out through here and if anybody's got any ideas, just leave a comment. All right, I dug a piece of aluminum right there, and I got up and swung, and there's a uh, overall button right on top of the ground. What's left of one? Looks like it's got something in design. Nah, this one don't have a front, I don't believe. Old overalls. All right, I got a neat little find here. It's a piece of zinc or pewter or something other, but I'm not for sure what it goes to, but it's decorative. And uh, there's some kind of drawer decoration or something. A dresser or some kind of nightstand or something. Not really for sure. <clears throat> Seven's over there. He's he hadn't found much. A uh, couple of head stamps. I think he uh, found a uh, two-hole sewing button. A few other things, but no reels or flat buttons or gold coins. I'm going to hit this little spot just a little bit and see what I can find.